Hi, uh, this is Maria, uh, Maria's Garden in Punta Gorda, Florida. Today I'm gonna make a special video for all my uh, followers. Uh, everybody's asking me questions about root rot, sp spider mites, uh, and yellow leaves. They want to know how to keep their plants alive, desert roses. A lot of people like desert roses, but don't know how to keep them alive. So I'm gonna try my best to tell you how to keep them alive. Very simple and easy. Just follow a few steps. If anybody has questions, I love answering your questions in uh, my uh, channel, okay? This is it. So, we're gonna plant the desert rose in this pot. Number one, we're gonna make sure they has good drain, okay? Good drain, I, is, this is the hole the pot come with. I did make this hole and this hole. That's good drain, okay? And what I did, you just put a little water, okay? A little water in the pot and use your drill this is a hammer drill that my husband let me use and you just hold it straight and go for it slowly just hold it don't push too much hold the hole and then we'll make you hole okay so next thing we know me is a little rock remember i said draining 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 number one we put some rocks okay and then, oops, I don't have my thing. Let's see, let me move this. I forgot my uh, scoop. So I'm gonna use my hands, that's okay. So we um, fill this with um, soil. We have a good, good rain. When the rain comes, we are ready. Okay, so put the drain there. More soil, okay. And uh, this, uh, I'm gonna plant, uh, I'm gonna plant this one. It's a little bigger, okay? So you put this plant, pretend you buy it at Home Depot, Lowe's, or you buy it for me, who cares? So what you do first, this is how big, higher you want it. Yeah, about there. You don't want it higher than that. So I get a little bit of awesome cloth, made by Scott. It's a control release. 14, 14, 14 is the best thing for the desert roses and, and succulents. So they love this. You put some in the bottom, see? So you squeeze your pot, get your plant out, and you can see this plant needs to be plant, has roots in there, needs to be pot. So I don't want to distort this plant because right now we are in February and it's getting ready to bloom next month. Maybe in three weeks, getting ready to bloom. I have a lot of blooms already here. In my plants so i want to be gentle as possible so you put it in the center okay you fill this with soil okay like that okay you fill this with soil no soil in here okay in the pier because this has to be free for the plant to store the rain okay so every time the rain so you just go like this Tuck the, the outside, nice, not, not too much, gentle, and make sure there's no soil in there, and press it down, maybe a little more right here. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some more fertilizer. And everybody wonder what I'm putting more, I'm putting a lot. Well, I know that these plants love that. So then, since it's so hot in Florida, in Southwest Florida, we're gonna cover it a little bit of covering and no water no water right now they are dormant okay and they are still trying to wake up to flower and everything you can see all those over there that i have They're, a lot of them they don't have flowers but they're getting ready to have flowers so they're slowly waking waking up from the dorm so leave them alone no water so this one if you plant a plant like this i guarantee you will be alive it dies I will give you a free one. Um, and that's it. Um, <coughs> let's um, do this one. This one is one of the, pot the pottery that I make. I don't know if it's nice or not, but I like it. <laughs> and you can see how many holes I ma made. It's very easy to make a hole in this baby. You just create your hammer drill and go. <laughs> there is one more hole. You see the holes? 
a lot of holes. So it's okay. That's how I want it. I know it's gonna be good for the plant. Again, bring your rack. A little rack, not too much. Just a little bit of rack in there. And now I pull um, soil. And this this technique is for plants that are like a year, a year old, maybe uh, 14, 16 months like my arm. So I'm gonna put two in this case in here because I think it will look nice. Um, I'm gonna put that one and this one. So that's about right what I want him. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some of this good stuff there. Take all the slits that I don't want there. Okay, so there you go. Take it out. And again, needs a bigger pot. So we'll be happy here in the new season. So we're gonna plant this one we said. No, maybe we plant the one with a flower. And again, it's all fertilizer there. Put it out. Needs, needs, uh, has root, but not la. Needs, uh, so they are there, okay? And I think I want this one a little higher. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. So, and this is gonna be. This, these paths are high petufas, that's what they call. They are very popular in England, and I know the formula, so I make, I make them, and the plants really, really love them because they can breathe. It's a combination of pimas, perlite, and uh, white uh, Portland cement. And uh, I make them when I have time, of course. <laughs> so this is it. And then again, Put in this, a little bit here. And sometimes, call me weird, I put cinnamon. Because they love cinnamon. I put a little cinnamon in them. It's good for the roots, good for uh, fungus and everything. So, I, I love my plants. I think I love my plants much as I love my daughter. But don't tell her. But uh, she will not like that, okay? And here it is. Uh, so remember rocks, a lot of draining, and uh, cut the soil, and uh, they're happy, they're ready for the rain season. Rain, rain, the plants will be, uh -huh. I had good, good draining, and well take care, and they be okay. This is for, for Southwest Florida, so I don't know where everybody lives, ask me questions, I would like to know what stay, or they lead that way I can maybe answer a question better but you like my channel please subscribe and thank you for watching